Hello, bearded bee people. Welcome back to BNK Bees. <clears throat> so, I made a couple other videos today. We went to pretty much all of our honey yards and uh, it was expected and um, it fell in line with my expectations. I have a black fly screwing with me. I fell in line with expectations over the first two yards. The first one I hadn't been to in quite a while. The heavy boxes were all, or the heavy boxes, the honey boxes were all heavy and uh, that was expected. So we had to add a lot of honey boxes. And then the second one, it was a shorter time period between me having been in it and now. And uh, we didn't have to add quite as many boxes. This one, however, I have been out, I was out here last week. I made videos splitting hives out here last week. I added the vast majority of these honey boxes last week and they're heavy. Uh, I mean, that's well ahead of the pace of the other two yards. And so I th thought it worth mentioning in the sense that, man, I mean, obviously when we're driving around these yards, there's no big ostensible differences, um, but there has to be a big difference in what these bees are having access to. I, I, I don't know what it could be. I mean, here we are up in the Keweenaw Peninsula. We are in Hancock, just north of Hancock, Michigan. And the other ones are more in the mainland. So you'd think that these would have, by definition, less access to stuff because a lot of their surrounding flight circle is Lake Superior. But in that flight circle, there is access to something that's putting out nectar like crazy. And so, yeah, I mean, don't, don't judge your area by the general region. Don't judge what's happening in a yard based on what's happening in a yard that's 10 miles away because it could be absolutely entirely different. Now, we've seen this kind of difference in the past. We had a, a particular yard downstate that we called our Fremont Yard because it was close to the, state, the city of Fremont. And uh, that, was, that was a really good producing yard during the nectar months. Uh, and I attributed that to having a lot of like suburban flight area. So not a whole lot of like cornfields and a, quite a lot of neighborhoods and like home gardens. So who knows, who knows? Cause this is, this is about as rural as it gets. This, these people own 120 acres here. So yeah, there's uh, there's definitely something going on. I'll definitely keep you guys updated if I drive past a huge patch of basswoods or it's blooming or something. But until that happens, I don't really know what's going on. But to say this yard kicks ass. And so I am happy to be able to say that. I'm happy that you guys were watching this video. Thanks very much for that. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I know this one was short, but I just had a an interesting thing to note, and I thought you guys would, uh, would agree with me that that was interesting. So, like I said, thanks very much for watching. Get out there and have some fun with your bees. See ya.